All right, so if we're comfortable with what a script is and what that means in terms of how we're going to be working with the computer, we need to take one step further and look at what actual language we're going to do, we're going to use to write our scripts, right? In the same way that I'm speaking in English right now, or your primary language might be French or, or Chinese, um, every scripting language, um, it has a specific kind of set of nuances. And the one that we're going to be using today to talk to Rhino is Python. And Python is really interesting because it's a general purpose and interpreted high-level programming language whose design philosophy emphasizes code readability. Now what that means is that it tries to, in, the, um, in its design, uh, look and sound like the way that we speak. So code readability. If we're not scripters or uh, computer programmers and we didn't have a degree in computer science, the idea is that if we're writing scripts in Python, we should be able to read that logic and what's happening um, very easily, as opposed to it being more abstract. So um, I guess more specifically, um, Python's going to interpret the text file that we write to thereby perform a set of operations. All right, so Python for uh, Python is integrated with Rhino 5, and it's also um, been added to a lot of other modeling softwares and, and um, other applications that aren't necessarily just for modeling geometry. Um, specifically, uh, Maya, Blender, and a number of other uh, CAD applications also use Python. Um, and Rhino does as well, once you get um, into using Rhino 5. So that's why we have to be using Rhino 5 as a group today for the webinar. Okay, and just to give you a little bit more information as to what the Python code might look like before we even start writing one and how it interfaces with Rhino, um, if you look here at the upper right-hand corner of the slide, this is the, an example of a very simple script that draws a line. Right? So uh, if you just read it, uh, besides the first line, it should look pretty, uh, pretty straightforward. The start is going to equal um, a point, get point. It says start of line. If we have the starting point, we can ask for the end point. So the end is going to be the other point that we ask for, which is at the end of line. And if we successfully uh, define that end point, we're going to add a line between start and end. All right, so that, that's a Python uh, script, very, very simple. And if we look at the diagram, this is what's actually happening with Rhino. We're typing uh, in relationship to Python. We're typing some text, right? Here are our scripts. That's going to go into the pipeline. Um, we're actually going to be using Python with Rhino script as an additional filter to then talk to all of the operations that Rhino has here. So if you can do it incrementally in Rhino, let's say whatever objective you're trying to achieve, draw a line, if you can do that manually in Rhino, you can do that through a script. Okay, so um, before we get any further, let's go ahead and let's um, look at where the uh, scripting interface is in Rhino. So there's um, If we bounce over to Rhino, go ahead and launch Rhino 5. If you were to um, go to Tools, Rhino Script, this Rhino Script was a scripting language that has been with Rhino 3 and 4 and 5. So it's been around for a long time um, to, to write scripts to call to Rhino's commands. And Python Script here is going to be visible if you're using Rhino 5. All right, so we're going to be writing in, within the syntax of Python script, but we're going to be using uh, a lot of the functions that come from Rhino script. So um, let's go ahead to go to the Python script, edit. This will bring up a new window. Before we get even actually start to uh, write any scripts, we want to go to the help and Python help um, menu. So here is the help window that you're, that's going to be your best friend in writing 
scripts with Python in Rhino. And just to um, give you a quick sneak peek, if you go to the index tab, these are all of the methods that you can call to using uh, rhino.python. So at the very beginning, when we were looking at that little snippet of code, there was the add line function, right? So it should, it, we're going to be able to use the Python help here in Rhino to find methods and find out what they require for us to use them. And this is going to be related to the Rhino script syntax. Okay, so um, let's get everything situated before we actually start writing any scripts by um, looking at the actual add-on we're going to be using once we get into Grasshopper. So Grasshopper can be easily extended and expanded in terms of its functionality through the use of add-ons. And we're going to use the Python for uh, Rhino and Grasshopper add-on. And natively, Python can already be used with Rhino's methods. But if we use the add-on, we can also use those same methods in Grasshopper, which means that we can change the way Grasshopper creates solutions. And more on that in a little bit. But for now, let's make sure that we install the Grasshopper Python add-on. So the um, kind of objective of the add-on, um, as written by the developers of the, the add-on for Grasshopper, um, really the objective is to have the same flexible language everywhere in both Rhino and Grasshopper. So they call it GH Python. That's the interpreter for Grasshopper that allows us to execute dynamic scripts of any type using the Python syntax. So unlike the other scripting components that Grasshopper has, GHPython allows us to use the Rhino script syntax to start scripting without needing to understand more high-level or abstract uh, elements of scripting. So you should have already gone to the um, Food for Rhino website. If you haven't yet, be sure to do that now. You're going to download the version 0510 for Grasshopper, and it's going to um, download a uh, GHA file. And what that's going to allow us to do then is inside of the Grasshopper environment, which is here, we'll be able to use an object called the Python object to write some scripts. We've also included this uh, add-on for you, the file, um, in the distribution folder that we sent the link to in the um, chat window. So you, if, you do, if you don't want to go to Food for Rhino or you're having trouble uh, accessing that website, go ahead and just use the file that we, um, we include in the download folder. All right, so um, let's go ahead and install this. All right? And what we're going to do is we're going to go into Grasshopper and we're going to find the components folder through the menu. And I'm going to do that uh, live here in just one second. Um, but the idea is that we're going to take the GHA file that we gave you and drop it onto this uh, Grasshopper Libraries uh, folder here. Okay, so if we go to Rhino, I'm going to close this window. First thing we want to do is type in Grasshopper into the command line. And that should open up the Grasshopper window. And you should be using version 914. And um, the next thing we're going to do is go to File, Special Folders, Components Folder. And this will open up on your hard drive wherever your additional add-ons are stored. Right? So you can see I've already got some things in here uh, that I've been experimenting with. Right? So we're going to go then to the... Um, folder that we sent under installs, there's the GH Python object. It's a .gha grasshopper assembly. We're going to copy this into this libraries folder. Now I've already got mine there so um, I don't need to do anything, um, but you would just hit copy and replace if you already have one. The other thing you can do is you can drag this file onto the grasshopper canvas and it will um, then be available to you in the Grasshopper menu. All right, so to see if it successfully installed into your Grasshopper um, interface, you're going to go to Math, Script, and you should see a Python script object there. 
If you don't, if you've already seen, uh, if you've already installed that, but you don't see it, let's go ahead and uh, refresh Rhino by closing Grasshopper, closing Rhino, and then reopening Rhino. And once we relaunch Grasshopper, it should find that as a an add-on and include it into your menu bar. All right, so I'm going to type Grasshopper once more. Launch my Grasshopper plugin, and then our Maths script. Here we have the Python script. All right, so you should be able to uh, find that object, and if you want to try, you can just go ahead and drop it onto the canvas. So remember, if you're having any technical uh, challenges, be sure to use the uh, the questions window and ask away. We'll um, get right back to you on uh, making sure you're up to, caught up to speed. And one more time, I'll go over the um, add, uh, installing the add-on. This time I'll do it the other way, which is to drag the add-on from the install folder onto the Grasshopper Canvas. And that should allow you to see this object under your Maths script tab, Python script. All right, so now we have everything set up um, in terms of our uh, application. 